new video tutorial with in our channel today I'm going to show you how you can install or how you can make a bootable USB with the system Windows 10 that means how you can make how, or how can you put a Windows 10 in USB to use it for for installing Windows 10 on another computer or in the same computer so basically you will need to download a compute uh, this program which you can see the icon here you will find it under its tools of downloading USB DVD Windows 7 however you can also use it for Windows 10 and you will find it in the link below the video after installing it you just click on it to open it you click yes if the security asks you and you need to have a copy of Windows 10 a legal one you need to have a copy and in a, in a format ISO format you can download it from the official website of Windows and you can buy a license online if you would like however you need to have an ISO file so we will go and copy this link because sorry we will just open this we will just click on the program to open it to start click yes and here we will click browse to select the ISO file I put it on my desktop so I will go to my desktop to open it is this one and open please make sure before you download uh, this operating system Windows 10 from the web from the official uh, page of Windows make sure to check your computer if it's a 62 bit or if it's a 32 bit you can do it by going to the start menu type run and after typing run you need to type txt and a small window will pop up and there you can check your operating system so operating system Windows 10 64 we need to make sure that we are respecting the processor ar architecture so here it should be if it's 32 you can only install an operating system with 32 bit if it's 64 you can only use the one for 64 however in my case I'm installing the 32 because I want to to use this USB to install Windows 10 on a on a different computer which is 32 so I will click next in this case in the second step you will need to choose media type if you want to install it on a DVD or you want to use a USB device I want to use personally a USB device here I will just click and select I plugged in my computer and USB is this one 5 to 7.61 so it's this one and I will begin copying in this case there is it says not enough free space please make sure to have enough space in your USB uh, minimum required for Windows 10 is 5 gigabit and more because it's quite heavy it, it needs more space in the USB and please make sure that you have more than 5 gigabits so you don't have any problem with with this process in this case I will just format my USB so that I gain the 7 giga back here it's saying you have selected to erase I will just click yes because it is asking if you want really to format the USB I will click yes and there we go now it's formatting my USB and very soon very soon it will start copying the system to my USB you need just to be a little bit patient this process this process can take between three minutes up to 10 minutes as a maximum depending on how how fast is your computer and which processor is integrated with your computer for sure i7 is faster than i3 and it is also depending on how heavy is the operating system so as you can see it begins copying the files on my on my USB and this can take a little bit of time as I said however however don't be afraid from doing it so we'll leave it work now it's six percent I will just guys I will just stop the video here and when it will reach it will reach the highest number then I will restart the video again to show you how you can deal with it and how you can work on it as you can see or it's like two minutes I stopped the video like two minutes and I'm already around of 51 percent of the process and it's going faster and faster you can while doing this you can just go and pick make 
coffee or just make a tea and you'll be surprised how fast is this process. As you can see the procedure now is finished, backup completed and now we will just close this because if we click start over you will, you will just start the process again. If you plug in USB and you can do it but on the same USB it will be like doing the same work again and here as you can see I have a bootable USB now I click on it I click setup there is an error which will appear because my computer is 64 bit and I choose 32 as you can see and this is the error which will appear so it's okay because I will just install this program from this USB in a computer which is compatible with it I hope this video was helpful to you guys Please, if you need help or assistance, you can always contact us. Uh, if you like this video and you found it useful for you, please share, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you in another video.